today is September 20th, um, 2019. So one of the um, perpetrators that uh, participated in sex trafficking me, um, among other um, high level prominent um, politicians, was Joe Biden um, in 2003. I, I believe um, I was I believe it was 2003 it could have been 2004 but I am fairly certain it was 2003 I, and so Joe Biden took me on a commercial flight um, when he was a senator I believe it was 2003 possibly as late as 2004 um, to Manzanillo Mexico um, to an all-inclusive resort for three days um, he He, he reserved our stay under the premise that we were newlyweds um, so that he could get a discount. Um, on the way there, um, he kept holding my hand in public. Um, I told him that I did not feel comfortable with that and to please stop um, on, while we were at the resort, um, you know, it was, it was his time, so I had to obey whatever his desires and wishes were. Um, but on the flight, it, uh, there and back, it was very bothersome um, to be seen in public with a man so obviously much older than myself um, and very, very uncomfortable. Um, and so I, I requested that he stop and he would not stop. He kept doing it. He did it on the flight back and he told me uh, verbatim, good luck getting back without a passport. Um, um, he tried to leave me in New Mexico. I'm sorry, in Mexico. Um, I've also lived in New Mexico. Um, so he tried to leave me in, in Mexico and um, told me, uh, he said, good luck getting back without your passport, without a passport, um, because I didn't have a passport at all. Um, and so um, the flight uh, was commercial. Um, it was a smaller airplane. Um, there was, we were sitting together um, that was one of the places where he was holding my hands and I was really disturbed by it and asked him to stop. The flight to Manzanillo, I believe there was a, a s connecting flight in Texas. Um, so there would be flight records for Jessica Collins um, <clears throat> in the year 2003 to uh, the final destination of Manzanillo, Mexico. Um, and. Uh, once I returned home, I changed my flight. The counter girls at the airline were nice enough um, to help me. And uh, even though he tried to leave me, I they helped me get back. Um, Despite what the media and government would like people to believe, anti-trafficking agencies, police, attorneys, county agencies, and the media do not help victims. Instead, they profit from perpetuating and covering up the crime. Sex trafficking is modern-day slavery that profits these agencies. The media features the criminals of these crimes to cover up the actual victims and allow the profits and abuse to continue. because they were concerned about the statements you were making. What statements did I make? That you were sex trafficking? Yeah, they asked, what have you been doing? And I said, I've been sex trafficked. Okay. So well, that's why I'm here, you're to make here, sure that you're okay. I am okay. I'm not okay with you coming here. Well, you don't have a choice because I'm, I'm doing uh, what I'm required to Even do. Even with it being my, my own property? Yes. You're right. allowed on my property without my consent. That's exactly right. Okay. Do you have paperwork or warrant I, I don't or need anything? I don't have to come in and investigate a case. Okay, but you said there was a protective order. No, I did not say there was a protective. I'm positive order. I heard you say protective order. You must have misunderstood. Okay, so I'm crazy. So. Okay. I